We all know how companies are looking for better ways to schedule their resources. Everybody asks us, how can I better schedule my resources? So my job is to solve things, and I think I've solved it. What I do is I embed into your NAV software, totally embedded into your NAV software, a complete scheduling engine so you can visually um, see your activities, move your activities, move your uh, resources, change your assignments in a Gantt chart view. Let's go take a look. Now what I do is right here within the um, planning software. I'm going to go into job manager and go into orders. Let's go to our order jobs. I'll just pick on one of these jobs here. Let's go. I think we did this one one other time. I'm going to open up the this job. It's job 100801 for a conveyor. So I'm creating a job to probably install or maybe it's design build and install a conveyor system. Now we've already looked at the uh, tasks and the estimating system, but I want you to see that embedded right on the job card itself. So let me just scroll down a little bit, uh, past the invoicing, past the posting tab, past the duration tabs. These are all standard nav, but what I've added is basically an additional tab, which we call our Planner 1 Resource Planner tab, which basically displays a Gantt view in a timeline. So in a timeline, and you have your resources down the left side, and you've got your activities of this job. And you'll see the dotted line in here. This is specific to this job, and it would change if you went to a different job. But you can see the uh, sequence of events and the timeline uh, that these activities are going to be occurring. Now this is one quick view of it here uh, for one specific job, but I think I should show you also across the uh, view for all jobs. So let me go into our planning board uh, so we can see uh, all the jobs. So here is a resource view for a Gantt chart view. And I've got it blown up a little bit. It's kind of hard in the video to show you all the activities. But this is, uh, I think I can give you an example here how you might use this. You'll see here's an activity for adjustments. Let's see what this is. Um, it's basically assigned to the labor pool rather than an individual person to do these uh, various adjustments. It's just code 500 adjustments. But what we're going to do is we're going to put in the move, move option. So here's move. And what I want to do is assign this to Tom Johnson. So I literally drag that activity to date wise and to time wise um, uh, for Tom Johnson. And the system is basically it's a visual drag and drop. So any activity that I want to reassign to a different person or a different time frame, I can make those changes here automatically. And then when I publish, because it is bi-directional, so when I publish this information, my jobs are going to get updated with these new assignments of who has been assigned to do, let's say, the testing here, which is code 400 um, within this job, 1008-02 in this case. So that's a real quick view of uh, the options for uh, doing a very nice visual drag and drop uh, scheduling within your Dynamics NAV software, all embedded right in the software. I'm going to encourage you to give me a call, and let's go through a full demonstration of this product uh, as it might relate to your specific company. So give me a call, and we'll do a private presentation. Thanks so much.